Ladies and gentlemen, I deliver this statement on behalf of the four EU members of the Security Council, Estonia, Belgium, France, and Germany, and Poland as a former EU member to the Council. The military escalation in Idlib must stop. It must stop now. We strongly condemn yesterday's attack against Turkish forces operating in Idlib and reiterate our solidarity with Turkey. We offer our condolences for the death of Turkish soldiers. These attacks further show that the Syrian regime, assisted and politically backed by Russia, continues its military strategy at any cost, ignoring the consequences of its actions against civilians. We demand an end to the Syrian military campaign supported by Russia and fully back the calls made by the UN Secretary General for an immediate ceasefire and unimpeded humanitarian access. We call on the Syrian regime as well as on Russia to fully respect international humanitarian law. We strongly urge the UN to accelerate and intensify their engagements with all relevant parties to secure an Im immediate ceasefire effort in northwest Syria. More than 900,000 people have been displaced and at least 300 have died in the past three months. As we have heard during recent briefings, millions of civilians in the Idlib province remain threatened by the lack of water, food and proper health care. European Union and its member states are the largest donors in support of the Syrian population. We will keep coordinating with Turkey and other neighbors of Syria to sustain and expand our collective efforts in re reacting to the development crisis in Idlib. We reiterate that there will be no military solution to the Syrian conflict, and our support to the political solution based on all elements of Resolution 2254 under the UN auspices. Thank you very much. Thank you. You are also a NATO member. Do you see any role for NATO in this conflict? There, have been, there has been Article 4 talks uh, about that, but I will not go further than that. Thank you. Yeah, about the refugee from Syria.